I don't know, if these are legal adults who can make decisions on what they want to do with their time, I don't care if they gamble. So there's a clip from three days ago, four or five days ago by now at this point, um, where Destiny's talking to somebody and he says NFTs are the um, equivalent of multi-level level marketing schemes for Zoomers. They're scams. Anyone who gets involved with NFTs is just um, being a sucker for someone, hoping that they're going to sucker somebody else who's dumber than them. Uh, and so... just goes off that how terrible NFTs are. Mm -hmm. Three days later, takes an NFT sponsorship. Wait. Hey, racial slurs never harmed the environment, all right? <laughs> That's true. That's true. Very true. Sander Hall has gotten so much racism all the time. Exactly as In 2B2T? Fuck yeah! There's if you said the N-word in the middle of the woods, but all the trees fall down? I don't think so. Do you guys think that um, YouTubers or, or Twitch people make more drama with each other? Twitch. Twitch. YouTube. Twitch. Why you, I don't why really... you say that? Um, I, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that, like, I think a lot of it is manufactured. I think that when you have to stream, the big streamers typically stream really long hours and re a lot of days a week. And so when you're streaming that much, you have to find content. So I think there's a lot of manufactured stuff. When it comes to YouTube, I think a lot more of it is hurt feelings. Like someone made a video on someone else because they thought it would be funny and then there was a response. But with Twitch, I think like a lot of the big streamers and even like middling streamers, I think a lot of it's manufactured. Um, and I think a lot of it's like really, really petty. And I think it's more common than on YouTube. I mean, there's always like drama on Twitch. Are drama or are we talking about real drama? Uh, what what does both. manufactured mean? Actually? Like everyone's kind of aware, and then it, like publicly it's one thing, but privately everyone's cool. No. Well, we can't know what drama is manufactured or not from our perspectives because we're not the streamers involved with it. But I feel like there's a good amount of like Twitch drama that I hear about that's gotta be fake. It's like, gotta yeah, be no. just like. I, what do you what do you yeah, think, think is fake? Like like what which which specific thing do you think is fake? I, I'd like to know that. Um, I think, like, I'm not talking specifically about this community, but there's been a few instances, like, with more normie streamers, like, in the train wrecks, uh, like, XQC section of Twitch. Uh -huh. I think there was, like, some drama involving, like, gambling streams that happened that just uh -huh. fizzled out and was nothing. Um, when I say manufacture, I don't mean that it's, like, it was, like, planned out, like, we're gonna fake this drama on this day. I think it's more so, like, Milking oh, we've got, it? like, yeah, just, like, really going into, like, milk it, and, and it's both sides know that they're doing, But even that, that drama content. was, like, pushed yeah. by a YouTuber. Like, that was Ethan Klein coming over here. No, yeah, I but, fundamentally but, disagree with you guys. We have a whole community for drama over there, whereas you guys on Twitch, I mean, like, the streamers are more interacting with each other, but I think the market for drama, like, if you look at, like, T-channels and stuff like that that cover, like, the beauty and makeup community, I don't think Twitch has anything even remotely similar to that so i think i think with youtube there's there's curation in the drama you create because you have to make the video and edit it and do all that so, shit and you can make it sound very sophisticated but with twitch it's just it's just idiots just saying shit in the moment for hours yeah and hours, like hours, i hours, i, hours, I gotta be honest like i agree with Zander on this here. topic and i've been covering like i've basically been doing like daily like drama videos since like 2017 or something right and there was a time like like in like 2018 in particular there was like a moment where like three months straight like every like topic i would get like 80 percent of them came from twitch and twitch streamers having drama and i think it has to do with the fact that a lot of streamers um it, it there it, it's a lot more raw and unfiltered and a lot of people like to talk a lot of shit uh on youtube when their editor or, you know when they're making videos rather than streaming you know they can kind of uh play have a cleaner act it's a lot easier to have a cleaner act Whereas on Twitch, it's a little bit easier when you're when you're streaming to kind of say something you wouldn't normally say if you were editing or plan or choosing. Because when you're a video maker, you choose what goes on your channel. But on Twitch, shit can kind of get a little bit crazy. You can kind of you know go off on a tangent you wouldn't normally do uh, under other circumstances because maybe you're mad at the moment or something. You can and literally I think go with into Twitch, a Twitch channel and you go into a random panel and someone will ask you if they would you would rather fuck your mom or your dad. You know that's just the thing that happens sometimes. Yeah, but it's, Augie, it's, do you think that happens more? Like I'm saying, like is it a bigger impact? Because I think we're talking about like who has more drama, Twitch wise, or YouTube. YouTube, YouTube is there anything even like comparable? Bigger... Yeah, is there anything comparable to the amount of subs James Charles lost in one day? 
But well, like YouTube the drama usually video. has a bigger impact, but I think there's more Twitch drama, period. I think more drama happens on Twitch. I think the YouTube drama I mean, that happens is seen as like a bigger deal. Like James I think, Charles. So the disconnect I mean, is like, what fair, is more drama? Is it is it like more stories happening or more people I mean, there's some about it like live stream fails or, that are well, dedicated to, to documenting like or, or, or having clips of streamers like fucking up or saying something stupid or something like that. Like there's whole subreddits that it could do that shit. To be um, fair, there's been some streamer dramas here on Twitch that have gotten really big. Like that, the time Ninja like accused somebody of stream sniping him and made like a big deal about it. Yeah, and that yeah. Other person, it, and that was like a big thing that happened. Any drama that happened with the Ninja or with like XQC or Trainwrecks, like there's been some pretty big dramas coming from Twitch before um, that have like even leaked onto oh, YouTube. Wow. Um, even like the the instance I brought up earlier of like the gambling drama, I, I'd say Ethan Klein's like half a Twitch streamer, half a uh, a YouTuber since he does have a presence on Twitch. He I think he loves Twitch. His... He's not even on Twitch. He's anymore. on it. Oh, okay, I yeah. thought he like does his podcast on Twitch or something like that. Oh no, that he was did um, for two a years short ago. period. Yeah. yeah, and then he came back okay. a little recently. I've never watched it live. I I will always just watch like older recordings. Yeah. It's like a crossover. He's like, Ethan's kind of a crossover point, I think, for a lot of different circles, like comedians um, and podcasts and like uh, whatever. I wasn't, I wasn't on like YouTube and stuff before the pandemic. So there's that. And then, yeah, he has a lot of friendships with uh, across platforms. And I think it's good. It like kind of opens up the windows, lets some air circulate. And uh, yeah, and then you see some people doing some scams to their aud audiences. I think the gam the Gamba stuff is pretty fucked up. I think gambling is awesome, and I would promote it if I had the opportunity. I mean, just not I, if it's gambling though. sites that are like these shitty crypto fucking websites from like all these weird countries and shit. Like the stuff he was okay. going after was bad. Um, but I don't have an issue with gambling. Uh -oh. Is there any good good ones though that aren't sketchy? I'm fine with like there's a sports betting I sites heard. and stuff. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's like a few that have been actually for right a now. If you want, like you can regulated. use code Diorio on my bookie. Um, wow. <laughs> I, so okay, the gambling Twitch content, I find it pretty entertaining. I like watching train wrecks just lose a shit ton of money and then gain half that money back and then lo <laughs> like fucking chimp out and lose his mind. I find that content really entertaining. Um, I don't like the idea that it, I do think there's an argument to be made that it's sort of introducing gambling to people. You would hope that a lot of people would see how much money he loses and never actually go and gamble. But then again, we saw that, um, I believe, um, the company that, that he was sponsored by, the gambling site that was sponsoring him, was giving him $1 million a month to, to have that code on his screen. So that right. gambling website was making at least a million dollars a month to get their money back for that sponsor because they were doing that every a million a month every month. Yeah, but so like, it's not like clearly kids people can just easily sign up for these websites, and if well, the kids, kids sign can, up for the, they have yeah. to be eighteen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, wallet. why do I care if an eighteen-year-old has? Uh, the, I mean, uh, like, I mean, it's it's their decision. They're adults. I don't want to like well, coddle them. So yeah. so so think about this, right? So when I was eighteen years old. I overdrafted my bank account buying Fortnite skins um, because I just wasn't very vigilant <laughs> with my money and everything. Nice. And at the time, it wasn't an issue, right? I was working as a lifeguard and I was living with my uncle. So I had money and it wasn't an issue. But, um, you know, fast forward to now, I would absolutely have wished that I could go back in time and tell my younger self, don't do that. Don't Ninja's like fault that, that you bought his skin? Is it Ninja's yes. fault that you yes. bought his skin? That's fucking crazy. Yes. I didn't find Ninja's no skin. way. Wow, skin. Banks. No personal uh, responsibility. Very non-conservative of you. I don't know. I, Dude, I feel like, like oh, in all these young, situations, they go after influencers and try to like remove the autonomy of like all these other people. I don't know. If these are legal adults who can make decisions on what they want to do with their time, I don't care if they gamble. Well, uh, I don't think like it's, it's the best habit to get into, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't like criminalizing gambling. I don't, I don't like the idea of that. You, you oh, saw I'm that, sorry. There was a tweet like a, like a month ago of like someone was wait, talking about that. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm sorry. I was I was speaking over Ico. I, I didn't realize it because um, their mic was cutting out. Um, sorry. Could you repeat that? Um, I just, you know, there's something a little weird about saying like a legal. They're legal adults, mm -hmm. and then they're like instead of just saying they're adults, it's like ah, uh, they count as adults. I think that. Yeah, I don't know. 
I mean, would you, you say an 18 year old isn't an adult? I mean, yep. an adult is completely an, yeah. just an arbitrary label, in my opinion. Some people never become adults. I don't know what an adult <laughs> is, but I mean, I guess having enough, I would think having enough experience of some kind of consequences to know that shit can really suck. If you if you make the wrong choice, uh, but me as an influencer, I can't customize my message for every single person where they are in their lives. So like the reason we have legal adults because it's like a cutoff that we all see, and it's yeah. At that point, you like care about like if you if you don't care, then that's fine. You don't have to care mm -hmm. about people. I'm just saying that like you know, someone being 18 versus 17. And starting to gamble with like what little money they have. I don't know. Maybe they have their first. first maybe honestly, or... maybe gambling will be really good for them because maybe they'll go, they'll fuck up, not to the point where it destroys their lives, but enough where they realize that that's probably not a good decision to make in the future. Yeah, that's definitely how how that works. That's definitely so uh, what re is reflected in real life. Wait, Nick, if there's an influencer who like does like cocaine or something, and then like. 18 year olds start doing cocaine. Well, I'm not shilling cocaine. I'm not using Code Diorio to buy some heroin off the streets. You know? <laughs> okay, but is it like in principle? I wish. Would, be, would, would the influencer have like some responsibility to that? Uh, I think an influencer has like responsibility if they're like spreading misinformation or something. If you find out that your favorite streamer does cocaine and then someone in their audience dies of like an overdose, I'm not going to go, you know, you fucking caused that. You're killing people. So, yeah. yeah I mean, uh, here's my take on that. And Xander Hall and Nick know my take on this already. But it's like, if, if my audience is going to do some crazy, insane shit based off of my actions, like, I don't feel like I have any moral obligation over that. I feel like anyone can in my chat can ruin their lives as much as they want. As long as, like, if they watch me do something terrible and they repeat that or maybe do a, a worse version of that, I don't really fucking care. So. Like what? Yeah, like what? Well, well like, if I promoted say, a but... gambling company, yeah. right, and, like, I had yeah. a person write me an email, like, I was like, hey, man, I'm, uh... 18 year old guy who decided to get into gambling because I watched your stream and it's like ruined my life and now I'm like bankrupt and I have no financial future. I'd be like, okay, I mean, Wait, that sucks for you, but like, <laughs> I don't feel like that's I did anything you feel that wrong all power there. to you, but yeah, that's, that's, e that's e really that's easy to say though before it actually happens. It's really easy to say that Wait, now. Are you saying if you, you have some DM, fan of yours? I'd feel a little bad if if some fan I mean, of mine was like, I would tweet that out, Xander Hall. Here's I would the laugh thing. hysterically. It, okay, Here's the thing. I'd, I would feel I'd bad said... for them as a person because generally I don't want to see people go through shitty times, right? But I don't feel like I did anything responsible. I, I don't feel like I'm responsible for them going down that path. That's what I'm saying. Okay. If you literally, like, you literally have a platform like, where you well, promote it depends. A, a thing that you know is addictive and is addictive to people and it's probably oh, yeah. fucked them up. So you, you I, I also that. drink on stream. You did. Well, you know, we could like, take this with like uh, uh, all the influencers. But I've no liquid. Wait. Yeah. Liquid. So, liquid. liquid. so there's not... inf... oh sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Um. Wait. I'm just saying, if you have like if you're sponsored by I don't know, Jack Daniels and like you're constantly mm -hmm. like you're playing drinking games and people can pay for you to like, uh, drink, which is tos. Um. I would say then that would maybe be equivalent, but I think gambling is a very specific kind of addiction. Um, I I think it's hard to compare to Look, other things. I mean, alcohol is probably like the worst drug, all right? Uh, people drink on stream all the time, right? And people yeah. used to, I'm, I mean, and now I'm pretty sure like you can't do drinking streams on Twitch where people pay you to drink. I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, yeah, yeah that's not allowed. I, I think if but you throw people up, used you to banned, do that. Yeah. yeah, people used to do that, and they do it on YouTube all the time. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, Ice Poseidon did a lot of those or something like that. So it's like, people do do that, right? But I don't think the streamer is at all, like, uh, responsible. And here's my even more nuclear take, right? Even if they are responsible, I don't care. So yeah. that's a hot take. Uh, well, I, I have another Let's question. Move so... on, because we also don't care about your opinion in a vacuum. And if you don't care about other people... Other people shouldn't care about your opinion. And there we go. Okay, everyone else. Well, one question. So well, everybody should uh... care about my opinion because my opinion is the best. <laughs> All right. So let's say we have like a mobile game. So like a lot of these yes, premium I was mobile say games that. make a majority of the yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. that yeah, we should, we should put them all in prison. Very well. All right. Um. So a lot of these freemium mobile games they make most of their money off of whales. 
So like the majority of people who sign up and play a, pre a freemium mobile game uh, won't even spend any money or they'll spend a very small sum of money. But the reason why they could afford to sponsor so many gigantic fucking YouTubers and like, uh, like and, and give them a ton of money to promote their product is because they have whales that spend way more money than they probably should. So the entire business is entirely based on people going too far with it. How could I ethically promote one of those but also be against gambling? Because one of my viewers could absolutely like lose their life savings in one of those games. I actually yeah, think the mobile I mean, games I, I despise are worse. The mobile gaming. Oh yeah, industry. that's an ethical too. Really do. I think the mobile games are much worse than like any gambling site. In all honesty, because that's like they they kind of like gamify like you like spending all your money Gambler on useless shit. Yeah, yeah. and Mo some of them are colorful and more games are to kids. gambling. Yeah. What like yeah. fruit flavored vapes are to cigarettes for kids, honestly. That's probably like, true, yeah. Those, right? Like you can't get those anymore. Get what? I'm what? Sorry? The, I'm, oh, I'm, the, I'm yeah. literally smoking one right now. A, well, uh, I think they uh, banned uh, like flavored yeah. vapes or something, or no, like in some yeah. areas. Yeah. Not, no. not in my liberal ass state of uh, California. All right, my point my is like, not gambling, in my conservative ass so, state of Texas. But, like, gambling is usually gated off to people who are 18 and older, unless it's like CS:GO skins or something, which I thought was kind of like shitty. But like mobile apps could be picked up by anybody. I would argue that some of those are probably inherently worse. So I'd rather promote, I mean, I don't have a problem promoting either, but I'd rather promote the one that has a few more checks and balances in place so that people who are more, like, you know, able-bodied can make a decision with their money. Like, here's the deal, right, when it comes to the whole gambling conversation, right? And I know it's an argument that's made a thousand times, but it's like, I don't know how, like, why do, you, why do people bite the bull on gambling and say streaming gambling is wrong because of the potential harm it could cause their audience, but then they smoke or drink on stream? Like, what is the line, like, what is the line of difference here? Yeah. Well, I mean, gambling is addictive in a completely different way, and it's more accessible in a lot of ways to to a wider audience than even drinking or smoking is. So I would argue that. But wouldn't mobile apps be even more accessible than yes, any of those? They, yes, they, they would. And that's why I think mobile apps are like, uh, I hate those ads. Like, I, I just, I yeah. But mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not, I don't find fault with people who, who promote it. I think, you know, you got to make your money. But um, if anything was like the most... If I were to rank things on like what's the worst, I honestly think I'd put mobile games at the top. Like, yeah. Would you promote a uh, VPN company that's previously had a big data leak? Hmm. Maybe. You don't know if they're gonna have another one. Basically, all of them have. I know. At some point, yeah. Yeah, like that was Nord, what I was gonna Surfshark, say. All of them have. Yep. <clears throat> what do you mean promote? Yeah, like you know, do a sponsor VPN stream or something. That's like a. So I don't know what you guys usually get on Twitch, but like uh, on YouTube, you usually get like the Dollar Shave Club, um, the VPN company, the mobile Raycon. game, Raycon earbuds, which I think is probably the least like morally object. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, just yeah that's kind of the one of the mill ones that we get offered. Hmm. Um, I, I think it's like just Raid, right? Raid Shadow Legends. That's all I hear about. That's it. Right, and then now NFTs. NFTs are. Right? Yeah. Oh, oh, we gotta talk about the Destiny NFT thing, don't yeah. we? Destiny question. Yeah. So when oh. that happened, um, I, I like I looked at the DGG chat that night that it was announced, and I thought. You know, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I thought everybody's memeing. Like everybody was just like. Um, was just memeing in the DGG chat and, and kind of like making fun of like Destiny and he was like kind of playing along with it. But like the next day, there were all these angry posts on the subreddit and... I saw that. I saw yeah. one where it was like, I thought of you as my brother or something, but now you're shilling <laughs> NFTs. I swear to God, I Wait, can find the quote. I don't understand like what's the big deal or something. It's like Because is, he's is been it, avidly like, against it in the past. That's why. Has he? Like, he or did he? Because I saw a clip where no, he said it was just like kind of cringy. I don't know the okay, no, no, no. Yeah, so what so Des okay, so here I, I did a segment covering it yesterday and I got like the clips and everything. So there's a clip from three days ago, four or five days ago by now at this point, um, where Destiny's talking to somebody and he says NFTs are 
the um, equivalent of multi-level level marketing schemes for Zoomers. They're scams. Anyone who gets involved with NFTs is just um, being a sucker for someone, hoping that they're going to sucker somebody else who's dumber than them. Uh, and so... just goes off about how terrible NFTs are. Three mm -hmm. days later, takes an NFT sponsorship. Then the drama happens. Then another clip comes out of him explaining why he did it. And he says, and I shit you not, this is what he says. He says, dude, I said I was going full shameless. Here it is. I don't care. I'm just trying to get about a million dollars in the bank before Twitch and YouTube and everywhere else bans me okay. because I refuse to someone use someone's dear gender pronouns or whatever. That is what he said. He says so, he's trying to yeah. save up and get out. He's a hypocrite, but he's honest about being a hypocrite. Yeah, I can respect that. And and honestly, he was like he was <laughs> he was kind of um I don't know I like that he was able to meme about it as well. Like I thought that I thought it was hilarious because he like people were saying like oh I'm right click saving the NFTs destiny well, and he was like losing his sh like well pretending to lose his yeah, shit. Yeah, you know? he yeah. had to know it was gonna happen. Like he had to like be yeah. cognizant that he talked about it recently. There's, there's I, no I understand way. why people yeah. are like upset about it, but um I don't know to be honest. I think it's in your best interest if you ever go like full shill mode to go full shill mode from the start. Well, wait, I mean, are they mad at yeah. Destiny because of like, are they making like the environmental argument people make against NFTs or are they just mad at the previous clips of him? So, well, so people are mad because like, NFTs right? are basically just kind of douchey. Like there's generally a pretty negative sentiment about them. Um, and, and especially left-leaning areas. Um, really? And on top of, yeah, generally, yeah, the it's seen as pretty douchey. Um, also, on top of that, yeah, there is an environmental thing with NFTs. Like, they're pretty bad for the environment. Um, but I think a lot of it's the hypocrisy. And I think a lot of it is just kind of feeling hurt if you're a Destiny fan that he just plans to try to, like, stow away a million dollars and fucking dip out on this well, empire he's built over the I last that... 10 or 11 years. You know, like, that part of the clip for me felt especially insulting. I think that's Do you think he was fully upset. serious in that? Yeah, this probably but, sounds like he was. Or he was like, it. yeah. I, so I think, um, I, I think a lot of the arguments I saw around that were people saying, comparing it to the Hassan House thing, which is like, um, I don't see it as like a fully equivalent. Like I could see in some ways how it kind of echoes it, but, um, I, I d don't see him. It, like I see, I see him do do things in politics like outside of the internet, right? Whereas I don't really see that as often with people like Hassan. And then you know, you, I don't mind people being yes, hypocritical as long as they own yeah. it up, you know. Sorry? Wouldn't it be more? Oh, sorry. Wait, you said uh, you don't see as much of what from Hassan? Um, uh, the like in real life political activism, right? Um, oh, yeah. What does they do in real life? I'm sorry? What do you do, like, in real life? Oh, well, organizing the canvassing and all of that and, and help, oh, yeah. trying to help oh, that yeah. one guy. Um, even they got though... kicked out for, like, saying gamer words, right? Uh... Like, in the past? Basically, I think one of the rival people, I'm pre if I remember this correctly, one of the people that they were up against, um, someone who was supporting them did, like, a whole... Like deep dive and everything Destiny's done and gave it yeah, to like he got a hit news. piece written yeah. on him. Yeah, and it yeah. kind of shut down the whole operation because the candidate that he was trying to help now all of a sudden was getting all this bad press because Destiny was supporting them. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, pol uh, political canvas in IRL like just sounds like total cancer. If you're somebody at all that has like somewhat of a backlog of like edgy statements or controversial statements, because like Which hit pieces streamers. are just bound Literally to come. All streamers. <laughs> Yeah, well, literally everybody. Yeah, I do exactly. think he had a, an impact in the Georgia um, uh, stuff, though, right? Like when he. Well, when I don't he, know if it, is it even about yeah. impact or is it about effort. Well, because if you're uh, putting the effort in, that's yeah. more than I would say for most Twitch streamers. Yeah, no, he definitely he did put he did put a lot of effort into the Georgia thing. Um, uh, but I mean, I don't know with the NFTs thing, like I. I think he knows that he's going to get memed really hard. I mean, it, that's mm -hmm. just what I was getting. That's what I was seeing, at least, because he was, like, making jokes about, like, you can't right-click yeah. and save it. Like, you have to send it back to me right now. You he's know. getting shit on because he's made statements in the past or something. If he, just, if he had never said anything about NFTs uh, and then took an NFT sponsor, there would be no issue there. It's like, well, what? He's, he just took another sponsor or something, right? It's just because yeah. of the comments he's made in the past. And especially, I mean, Xander Hall's talking about a clip that came out like three days ago. So it's just, yeah, the, ti fair. the timing it is, is yeah. just terrible. Timing's really bad, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, 
Sorry. Uh, Can I ask a question? I'm super. I'm super dumb. Why? Why are NFTs bad for the environment? Wait, hold it's on, like hold the on. apparently like the crypto the, mining I, stuff. It, it's it has something to do with like um like you know, I don't know shit about NFTs, but I I think it's like an NFT in one day or to create an NFT it costs as much electricity as your a car uses in a year or something like that. It's it, it's some statistic that's like really surprising. Like NFTs are surprisingly bad for the environment. Before <clears throat> we move on away from the original thing which was yeah uh it going into activism from uh asking about is this hypocritical it doesn't really matter i think that it's kind of unhelpful to compare uh the amount of harm someone does versus the amount of good i think that we can acknowledge these things in individually um okay. so yeah. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's fair enough. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I, I guess I, I don't really have, I mean, yeah, it is, it's, it doesn't look good if it's like, there's a clip like three days ago for sure. Um, and you know, one thing that always bothers me, I mean, I haven't seen these NFTs that are being sold, but it, I, whenever I look at NFTs, it literally looks like they took like some art student and gave them edibles right? Like too many of them and then told that's them to like draw bad. some shit. And then that's like the shit that they're selling on the NFT, whatever market, you know? Have you seen the crypto punks? Those really stupid looking things that I think I uh, Faze Banks was buying. Have you seen the lazy no... lion things on Twitter? Oh my God. Those things are so cringy. Holy shit. And there's like these losers that I see on my Twitter timeline who take it seriously and like, they make it their profile picture, and they're like, I got 11 lazy lions. I got a mansion in the Hollywood but Hills. I, just, I think that's just funny, baby. though. I don't hate NFT it. NFT culture is terrible. I was seeing this one guy. So the whole thing about NFTs is so cool is obviously you can buy them, resell them, make a shitload of money. I will see people on Twitter and NFT Twitter unironically defend purchasing an, an NFT for the sake of just having it. Right, because they think they're so cool. Because they're like, I own the rights to the image. Ooh, and it's not even really how it works if you look into it. Uh, but yeah, I see so many tweets on my Twitter. I, I don't follow any NFT guys at all, and I still see this shit on my feed. People just go on Twitter and unironically brag about them owning the NFT, not Dude, to resell fuck it. it. I'm buying an NFT as soon as this is over. I'm buying one. Have fun with that. I'm I mean, gonna tweet about it. it. It's, I'm gonna make it my whole fucking and then they personality. Make it they make it their profile picture, and they're Absolutely. like, look at me, I'm the only one with this profile picture. It's like, other people shit on them. They'll download the picture, and then make it their own, they're like, look, I have it now. And they're like, but you don't own the rights to the image. It's like, you don't either, buddy. Like, it, that's just not, you don't own, like, the legal rights to the fucking picture. That's just, no. I'm not this shit, dude. You own, you're just like, I own the fact that this happened in this moment. Something that like that. Is? No, I want one of those stupid crypto punk looking things where it looks like a five year old drew a picture. That's what yeah. I want. That's my ideal uh, NFT. I'm yeah. going to just send and sell NFTs that are just like pictures of me falling. I feel like that would be a big hit. <laughs> <laughs> pictures of my cat. Keemstar tried cool. to make an NFT of his desktop. Keemstar tried to make an NFT of. um. Oh, what was he telling me about? I don't know. I, I hope this is public or I'm an asshole. Of uh, EDP 445, but he found out that he couldn't make one of a, like an actual person's likeness. Oh, you <laughs> can? I don't know. He should have made an NFT of the cupcake. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, I think uh, he made something like that. Do you, do you, I don't know how many people uh, watch uh, H3, but uh, if you do, you know the, the uh, BitConnect guy? Um, oh, the interview that they did recently, right? Yeah, yeah. And he was like losing his shit, laughing at him, like in the middle of the interview. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. So it's like he asks them, and whenever someone does, like, I guess the the coins or NFTs or whatever, since um, I guess Ethan has experience with like not not this crypto kind of stuff, but like, um, what do you call it? Uh, multi multi level marketing and crypto MLMs, scams. that but also like like legally like um like people's uh, intellectual property or something. Oh copyright. Oh copyright. Yes yes yes. Kind of stuff. So he's like, so did you get permit? What about the person that took the thing or like who's that lady in the background? And, and they're just like, 
deer in headlights, like, yeah. and one of the dudes is just like, interesting. And that's, and that's it. Um, yeah. So that seems to happen. I think he did that with, like, Ms. Kiff. Um, or Ms. Kiff, I think, got confused about something and had a whole call. And I guess, I think the person who was trying to start an NFT of streamer moments, um, I don't remember the name of any of it. I'm not stoned yet, so I can't think properly. <laughs> what are you but smoking? I'm uh, doing a mixture of Durban Poison and Blue Lemon Chai. Nice. I'm uh, act I'm vaping a concentrate. I think it's a uh, Pineapple Express. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very cool. Um. Oh, but what I was saying is that basically the person that was trying to do the the website, I guess, sell sell the NFTs and work with streamers and stuff, had no idea of all of these like Ooh. possible legal implications and yeah. like who are these like very overconfident people that this was like the group that just started selling streamer clips right well not, not clips but like pictures of streamers because like, i remember there was one big thing that was, I, I don't know if it was a twitch employee or something but there was somebody that was important making a website with like twitch people in it yeah 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 and yeah. like twitch people didn't know <laughs> like i think that's what happened like Ms. Kiff brought like his lawyer into the call too i think Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of H3H3, but he did a great job on that one. Yeah, I like. That, I like. He kind of like just. He'll just be like, "That looks weird. Let's go fuck around with that and see what that's mm -hmm. about." I'm, uh, I'm down. The interview was hilarious recently. I, I, I. That's probably the um, most recent thing I've seen from him was that interview with that guy, who like had no idea what the fuck he was doing, and then like midway through the interview, like he claimed that he like cured a bunch of kids' autism, and then. <laughs> oh, yeah. what did that end up being? What did that end up? Because I think, I think it was, um, uh, like I think that there was like a correction, like the guy said it in a stupid way, but I don't know if maybe that's actually what they meant. So uh, I don't know. An interesting choice of words here. Yeah. We we gotta save Bo Black, Soggy. <laughs> we gotta cure him. Yeah. Stop. No. I Wait. think autism is a superpower. I think it. I think it. I think it. Uh, I think it. We. I think it is a a genetic mutation that we have developed in order to evolve beyond the point that most neurotypical people are at already. I think it's actually a positive evolutionary trait, and the development yeah. of normal human society that has stigmatized it has made it into a negative thing. But were we still like back in in the in the uh, the the prairies of Africa or whatever? Having autism would be great. You would never get snuck up on by like a tiger or anything like that or a lion. I think You'd it depends. Really... I think it depends because there, you know, there is the spectrum, right? And then there are people who can't function uh, um, who have autism and then there's like high functioning autistic people. And I think the high sure. functioning autistic people are, are some of the most like some of the smartest, like most brilliant people I've met. Um, uh, like, I, yeah, I've, I've had some friends who are autistic who were just like, incredible at what they do um, i bet if you get the 10 smartest yeah. people in the world in this room right now the 10 smartest people who've ever lived resurrected them and put them into this room right now nine of them would have autism hmm. that's the thing what are you measuring that against what kind of like intelligence because things can manifest in like autism and intelligence both right, i'm a pisces manifest so, in completely different ways like Pisces? You're a Pisces? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Wait. Is that your superpower? Is that what it is, Binks? I'm a Sigma man. I feel like, I feel like we're just talking about superpowers, but medical. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Astrological. Uh, Pisces, is, oh, being a Pisces is medical. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, no, 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 hold on. Hold on. You know, everyone, wait, not everyone, but Stardust, you know who Redneck is? Yeah. 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 Wait, someone told me that Redneck had Twitch streamers. Twitter bios up on a site to buy his NFTs. Oh, yeah, 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 I heard about it. he he got mad yeah, at um, Dylan Burns. He got mad at Dylan Burns and then he screenshotted his uh, Twitter and s sold it as an NFT, which is weird. Redneck actually like I've seen him subscribe a couple of times on my channel. I don't know what it is. Conservatives <laughs> love me. I don't know what, like what's going on. <laughs> um, no. Yeah. I no. I don't know. 
strange. <laughs> they probably just think you're hot. Mm, I don't know about that one, but yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Um, yeah, very, very interesting. I don't think I've ever interacted with him either. I just really I neither have him. I, but he made an NFT of my Twitter profile as well. <laughs> Wait, really? I didn't That's see weird. that. I actually just asked interested. him to. I said, "Go ahead, do it. I want to uh, see if you will," and he did it. Conservatives like conservative stardust. What's weird? I'm not a conservative though. Why I don't know, Augie. You stream on Cozy TV. Are you a big fan of stardust? <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Wait, Augie, do you actually stream on Cozy TV? Uh, it's Cozy not TV. yet. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Wait, Sanderhal, what is oh, Augie no. streaming about? What is yeah, it? What did you say so, it was? So, uh, Cozy wait, wait, wait. TV. Remind me the one of two, of two things that are going to happen here again. <laughs> wait, we're doing Augie, streaming right now, so man. it's all going to happen at once, right? Um, yeah, so Cozy TV is Nick Fuentes' new uh, streaming website that he made, oh. and I'm predicting it will probably not work out in the long term. That's not what you said on your no, video, right. Alexander. Why won't I it work out, though? I want to hear it. I think, A, it will be either, it'll be either infested with child porn, or B, <laughs> it will be taken down by, like, some web hosting shit. Okay, like, right, uh, right. websites have been taken down for similar wait why child porn past, specifically well, here's the thing yeah yeah b is a possibility because of what right? happens i want to hear a there there was a one of those free speech like right wing uh like off-brand sites or whatever that was pretty popular i think i don't know if i don't remember if it was like telegram or or like um uh gab or something like that that had like a huge child porn problem and it was like a huge issue well but HTML telegram is... and gab are still up yeah, I it, think it was it, it wasn't one of them. It was an, it was something it wasn't eight chan. It was something else. It was um I'm trying to remember the name of it. There's been so many names that these things have had. Somebody in chat reminded me last time, so hopefully they'll Parlor, yeah, Parlor. I think uh... it was that the big child porn problem. Wait, Yikers. is it Parlor back? I think I keep getting emails from Parlor. Wait, which is the one that's Hold they on. had to cut some serious costs to get uh, that thing back on the app store. But like, I get tons I'm... of fucking emails about this. It's like, do you love hate speech? No, no, that's not what it's like. Okay, Hold since on. we um... delved into this topic, I'm, I, I want to break this down a little bit since we're already here, right? So, is there an inherent problem with having an account on a altern alternate website, a free speech website? Because I have many accounts, and I usually set up an account on everything that comes up. I have a, I'm verified on Gab. All right, I got my check mark on Gab. Uh, I was on Parler. Uh, hey, to I'm get a on, check mark I'm on, on Gab, did you have to I don't think there's anything wrong lessons? with it. Honestly, no, 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 no. I don't think there's something just, wrong with it. If no. you have a YouTube channel, because right, you right. sent Parler your driver's license to get a check on there, right? No. I could have sworn one of these needed a driver's no. license. No, I didn't. Parlor had a data breach, so that would be... Well, there's <laughs> Trump's new platform. Yeah. Trump's new but platform is like asking for all your personal info, right? To use it or to get verified? Uh, just to use it, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not a good idea. Um, but yeah, like, I'm just curious, like, because here's the deal, right? Like, I always hear, like, lefties say, like, you know, build your own website, right? Yeah. But then when somebody does, is that an issue? Like, is there an issue there? Like, I'm, I'm curious, like, where this goes. I don't know. I've never said build your own website. Usually when I okay. try to, like, debate people or any response video that I do, I kind of act like the video is sort of debating me you know putting thing, forward a right? proposition like, i respond so i i always say like no don't just leave the website or make a new website yeah. I'm, I'm trying to influence people to change their politics um you know I'm I, not, I don't want people to have to be banned so forever i don't have a problem either with people like making their own websites and like expressing themselves and i don't even have a problem like i don't really like deplatforming unless unless it's like in really extreme cases um but hold on hold on conservatives tell people that if they don't like something to leave the fucking country so i mean if if i haven't heard any people that i don't know are on the left ish that have told people to oh go make your own platform you've never heard that if you don't like it get that i've heard it a good amount but it's I, i've never said it myself and i don't see it that often look i'm not trying to like straw man xanderhal's position here i was asking him a question right but what i'm saying right is xanderhal you were somebody that is for censorship correct like for censorship like in what right. context like if, like if somebody is like talking like 
uh, like if somebody says like, for instance, like the vaccine, right? If somebody says the vaccine doesn't work or not to take it, you would be in favor of them getting removed, correct? Uh, yeah, I actually talked to, um, to Nick Diorio here about that like a, a week ago. We had like a five mm -hmm. hour conversation on stream. Um, I, mm -hmm. I think when it comes to shit like no, like knowingly spreading misinformation, there should be a ban there. Though I will add the caveat that I don't like perma bans. I think especially in the age of the okay. internet that we're in, like if you're 14 years old and you tweet like the N-word or something and get perma banned off of Twitter, I don't think that should mean when you're 21 years old, you can't have a Twitter, you know? I think that's, I don't like perma bans. I okay. think you should be able to get your account back after a while and get another chance. You're wild born. So something. you're more or like except bait. for for the like well, if the, you're the breaking like on Twitter, yeah. if you're breaking federal laws, then okay. Know, but I'm talking like there. here's the deal. Like I'm talking about like more political censorship. Like I mean, I'm pretty sure we can all agree child porn should be permanently removed from the internet, obviously. But like I'm talking more in like a political sense, right? So you're more in favor of ban the content, not the individual. Is that what your position is? <sighs> Honestly, and um, me and Nick talked about this as well. In an ideal world we would have um, no need for TOS on stuff like hate speech because that hate speech would have no actual real impact and the platform would almost police itself. And let's say Alex Jones is saying crazy shit on his YouTube account, the way that that would be policed rather than YouTube cracking down on Alex Jones, with the TOS is everyone would go and leave hate comments and dislike it, right? That That's like the ideal scenario. But unfortunately, it just doesn't tend to be how things work out. Alex Jones has a massive fan base, and the guy's fucking crazy. And most of his fans don't just watch him because they think he's funny. All right, a lot of them watch him because they think he's telling them the truth. They buy oh, yeah. his supplements. They they fall for his entire grift. And um, I think there is an inherent harm in enabling people to stumble upon blatant misinformation, things like the Sandy Hook shooting and the way that that um, ended up resulting in the harassment of the parents of the survivor or of the of the victims because they claimed uh, Alex Jones claimed it was a, a um, false flag. Like, I don't know if it's responsible for these platforms to allow people to be sort of indoctrinated into that kind of stuff. I mean, it's conspiracy theory content. It's meant to be for like old boomers. They're looking for anything that keeps their mind focused because they're stuck inside all day because they've reti been retired for three years. Uh, something for them to care about. And they end up falling into it and they go fucking crazy. But here's my thing, right? Under your logic, you want social media companies to basically uh, enforce. You're not allowed to be wrong is what you're saying, right? Well, I think he's saying knowingly. Knowingly. Okay, so like, if you know you're saying some bullshit, but you're still saying it anyway. Yeah, I think yeah. there's a pretty clear cases of intent, right? Like, for example, you could. so Ben Shapiro argues that there's no difference between sex and gender, and trans people are just deranged and mentally ill, and they aren't valid, right? Um, I, I'm pretty sure everyone here is pretty on board with trans people's validity, so I, I think we disagree with Ben Shapiro there. So you would have to make an argument. Do you think Ben Shapiro is knowingly lying about why he thinks that trans people's identities aren't valid? Or do you think he just genuinely believes it? It depends. I think Ben Shapiro is pretty smart. So what do you think? Do you think he's knowingly lying to his audience? Or is he, does he just not know? Well, I think he believes in a perspective that in his worldview, he believes he's correct, right? So at that point, it's a battle between your worldview and Ben Shapiro's worldview, right? Can you say that your worldview is absolutely correct or that his is absolutely wrong? Or are you saying that you believe you're correct and he believes he's correct, but you believe he's wrong? Because I feel like there's a difference there. Because of the, yeah, he doesn't agree with you about trans people, right? Like yeah, Ben so Shapiro, like... Ben Shapiro is, I, yeah, I feel exactly. like I could be wrong, but I don't think Ben Shapiro in his mind is going, this is false information, but I'm going to post it. And by the way, I'm not a fucking Ben Shapiro yeah. fan before people I don't say think that. he does either. I think Ben Shapiro right. genuinely believes what, uh, what are you saying? What are you saying? Yeah. We can never but then you're enforcing people, even though they believe that they're correct for being wrong based on your worldview. This is like the issue, right? Because I feel like it's like, and I know slippery slope, everybody's heard the argument, but that's my issue here. Like, I feel like, I feel like it's wrong to ban people uh, based off of worldviews, even if those worldviews are, uh, one would argue, uh, disastrous. You know what I mean? Um, hey. Well, and it sort of goes back into the gambling discussion, right? Because I've already stated that I don't care. Like, if my audience does crazy shit based off of something they see me do, 
I don't care about that. So we're, we're basically dipping back into that philosophical conversation right, I, of whether or not you have the onus over your audience. I'm, a, I'm a, on a completely different uh, page than I think Sandra Hall is. Um, I think the problem, okay, I don't think that the Thanks. solution is ever to, uh, wait, what? I Sorry, Binks just did a, a thing with his uh, camera. Oh, He's giving himself a, a colonoscopy, I think. It's like that scene from uh, Death Stranding. I see, I see. Um, okay, I think the answer is never to hide information um, or restrict things, but to have all of the information be out, have like a general, gen just anything that you could possibly want to inquire about, you can inquire about. Um, the problem is the lack of receptiveness and the the biases that make us, uh, you know, choose to believe one thing over another, uh, whether it's within the left or the right, whatever side or group that we're in. Um, so I, I think that it's more like, how can we uh, present things in a way that people can actually not trust, but um, engage with in good faith? Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, I had a conversation with Xander Hall about this topic fairly recently. Um, my ideal situation, how to handle this Ben Shapiro thing, is if he's going against the medical consensus that's agreed upon by everybody, you just, like slap a little medical misinformation sticker on it, um, and then people can do with that what they may. But I think it should stay up. Similar to um, how tr uh, Twitter reacted to Trump's tweets when Trump was still on there, like they had like a little label on there. I think that's better than removing the tweet. Um, I would agree. I don't think they should disable retweets because I think they did that with Trump a few times. But yeah, that's how I would handle that. Uh, realistically, if you're a bread tuber, your job is to take the newest Ben Shapiro video and shit on it. And if you're doing good at your job, you're bringing in a lot more people. The whole idea uh, that all these bread tubers have is actually, for the most yeah, part, mean, I've seen they have like that story arc where it's like, I was previously like radicalized to the right. And I found my way out, so I'm going to help you find your way out. So right. I, I think that's why we have creators like Hassan Piker, whether I like him or not, or big creators like, I'm, I'm really fucking myself here, the Surfs, whether I like him or not, or some of these big streamers. The point is, like, Alex. these guys should be able to debunk some of the stuff that's there. Well, yes, yeah, I so, have a point. I, wait, so I, in the viewer, the consumer, the viewers, um, it's, it's a thing that takes place within them. Um, I think the you know, the resilience is more important, the critical thinking skills and the resilience. Um, uh, but it's like, I mean, I, people on all sides do this where they just see something and, oh, that's what they believe. Yeah. When it comes to peers as well, I don't know. I A lot of times you'll hear things about other people in the space, streamers, uh, YouTubers or whatever, like you'll hear a part of a, a thing, a drama, a scandal, and you'll like want to trust someone's information. But lately I've been trying to be very careful about the narratives and um, that I support and like what we actually know. Cause we can't know what someone is actually thinking or what they feel in their heart if they well, we could find out with like richard well, spencer who's like i win they fucking lose you know that quote oh my like, god you can find out exactly i can't like, handle I know. that the, uh, the everything surrounding I richard win. spencer the they past few days lose. has been so funny i can't believe it's literally like watching like it's it's like watching um uh mr bean like go to court and get like go get accused of like of like trying wait, to incite has, a riot has, wait Wait, has before more come we get out off... recently? No, no, I don't think wait, so. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get off on this point, I really want to say something uh, tying yeah. back to what Nick said. Okay. So, Ben Shapiro and I would, which is somebody we would talk about for a minute here, and also Steven Crowder, right? These two people are still on YouTube, all right? Censorship has happened a lot since uh, I would say like 2016, 2017. That's when it kind of like started, and then it's kind of just like increased, uh, I would say, exponentially. But like Ben Shapiro and Stephen Crowder are still on there. And as far as I know, they are both two people, right, that are, uh, are anti trans. Is that correct? Both of them? They're. they're... Um, very rarely does Steven Crowder make a video where he doesn't explicitly break YouTube's TOS on hate speech. Okay. Well, here's my point, right? Yeah, I would say, 
uh, I, it's talking strictly about the internet, not real life. Like, gay and trans acceptance has actually been on a rise, it would seem, on the internet, right? Despite Everywhere. these large figures. Well, I'm talking about the internet. Despite these large yeah. internet figures on the right still having a platform, right? Would you say that's because of uh, the rise of, like, left tube or something like that? Or maybe, like, a, a, a change in, like, the political, like... Uh, I, I guess a change in people's politics or something like that. My point is, is you can argue against narratives without the need of censorship, right? Because I feel like uh, there's still, obviously there's still a lot of conservatives that occupy uh, YouTube and Twitter and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, I, I feel like, like the overarching narratives of what people on the internet like think is acceptable is it definitely is like moved a lot more left, not saying left leaning, but it's moved more to the left over the last few years. And censorship isn't necessarily required for that to happen, right? It should be more about the battle of ideas. It should be one versus the other, not an uneven playing field where only left people are allowed to talk and more right-wing voices are cut off. That's what I'm saying. If you're saying. so confident what you have to say, you shouldn't have to ban well, the, somebody. The main, I, the main I issue is advertisers, though, right? Like, Because if we do that, if we just don't have any type of TOS and we aren't banning this kind of stuff then you can't make a job on these platforms anymore because you're not going to have enough money coming in. There's not enough CPM. We're going back to uh, like the anti-trans, pro-trans kind of stuff. Like you, these are actual people that were trying to, I don't know, not have more shit to do, have oppression and shit. We're just trying to like let them be people like everyone else is. Dude, today's right. trans, uh, like, uh, what are transphobic streamers or tomorrow's bread tubers? Uh, you, yeah, I, but I, okay, so what, like, well, okay, um, there are quite a few people who are like that, um, but, um, the, like, one thing I, I do, like, I, I feel like we're kind of even, we're kind of moving past, like, very, very obvious things, right? Like, on, on Twitter, um, I'm somebody who's, like, encountered, like, um, and I'm sure you guys have too, because your content creators just straight up like racism or straight up like gore being like spammed at you, you know, or just straight like, just like fucked up shit being sent to you, right? Or threats or whatever. Um, and I, I am somebody who still thinks that like, we need to have like free speech, like, di like on these platforms. But I, I think, um, there is definitely a question there. Like, should like these 15 year olds who are not ready to be seeing this fucked up shit, like beyond Twitter right now, you know, um, I'm in favor of like ban all children. They're all terrible. Yeah. Of well, I'm not in favor of ban all children because they make up the majority of my subscriber base, but, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yikes. <laughs> No, nah, I do think the internet should wow, be Wow, the amount of grooming that happens in your eight. community, Augie. Okay. I think you should be... I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you, how old are you all? Like 20? How old I'm 24. Like, I'm, tw I'm 20. I'm, I'm 22. 22. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys are so young. Y'all have any idea what the internet was like in 2008? What a, what a yeah. horrible, horrible place it was. Okay, y'all were kids, but that's like... When I was 15, it was just a, a horrible fucking place. Now... Oh yeah. The, the wild, wild chat I'll rooms? have you know, I play on 2b2t.org. Okay? okay, the oldest anarchy server. It radicalized me. Right? Okay, it radicalized Xander me. Right. It radicalized me. Okay, you it turns Xander Hall into a new man. The way, right. the way that's it. Neopets the wild radicalized dying. me. The, the, it the, changed the, me. The Pinkertons, the Pinkertons are moving into the wild west. It's all dying, and they're trying to like regulate everything. And it is what it is. But I wish they would just like make a decision with it. Like, ban people, don't. Like, just make the rules clear. That's literally my only problem. Make the rules I really clear. don't mind it being the Wild West. I think we just it's need really to... Bad. We Fuck need to this. figure I'm out. I'm on blog TV with my fucking hands up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, NFTs are uh, our only way to get the Tahiti Twitter before the Pinkertons. We, we used to have racial slurs. Now we have yes. NFTs. It, what's, is it really just... Wait, you don't, don't see them anymore? What's going on? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, no. Wait, what? I mean, you, yeah. like, hey, racial slurs never harmed the environment, all right? <laughs> That's true. That's true. Very true. Xander Hall has gotten so much racism all the time. Exactly as In 2B2T? Fuck yeah. There's if you said the N-word in the middle of the woods, but all the trees fall down? I don't think so. <laughs> Depends on how loud you say it. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't say it, though. Don't say it, guys. Don't. In... Like, you can do what you want, but then we can think whatever we want to think about you and be like, I'm oh. I'm fine with that, like, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm never, look, people say, 
freedom of speech uh, doesn't mean freedom of uh, what is it? Freedom of uh... freedom from consequences. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you want to go say that. the N word and then someone beats the shit out of you, I think that's your yes. fault. Yes. I see yeah, that's I mean, what look, I advocate I mean, for, funny. right? So so when when people act stupid on the internet or they or they spam really disgusting shit, I think it's great when her like the internet collectively bullies that person out of existence. Yeah, sure. I think that's just so funny. Um thank you. Yeah. Look, I, I just think if you're going to say crazy shit, you have to accept and this is something I'm sure most of the panel agree with. You should accept the you know what's going to happen when you say whatever thing you're saying as long as you accept the consequences of your actions. Like it's a you know it's a it, it, it should be a free country, right? Like Yeah. Fuck, I don't know. A lot of people say that, but to be fair, one of the Dude. biggest narratives on the right right now is about how cancel culture is a menace and it has to be stopped. I don't and care about cancel lots culture. Lots of people getting yeah, together. Augie, and doing Augie, freedom exactly of speech that. doesn't mean freedom of tweets. Get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, all right. I don't really care about cancel culture. I don't really I don't think cancel culture is anything unique uh to today's time period. I think cancel culture has always existed and uh, I, I don't know. What I is mean, cancel culture? No, Cuz like if you asked me question. 2 it's years ago, topic, I would have right? thought it was like getting rid of fucking pedos and rapists and fucking like all the degenerate and shit like that. And then if you ask me a year ago, I think, oh, it's when they go after comedians. Nowadays, it's Monica when you Lewinsky. just complain about when they don't get views. Okay, Monica Lewinsky, uh, I think, is like w one of the first people we can like uh, we can look at. And well, there are probably people before her even. But like, I I think in my head when I think of Jesus like the first Christ himself Jesus was Christ, I was about to say Jesus Christ was canceled. True. Damn. True. Just said too much. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just think of her, um, you know, she definitely got canceled and I don't know if it was like for the, for the right reason, you know, it's like, Dudes don't get canceled. That's is really she? what it is. Like, cause the other people, they disappear and no one ever like thinks of them again. Oh, uh, you know, that's just the that's only just way to really get canceled is like either get like put on the cross like Jesus or like. I don't know, yeah, to be killed, or like, uh, if you just leave. Uh, there are terrible Look, fucking people that have been able to have full careers. Cancel culture they come back. is totally, it, unless you're getting canceled for being like a pedo and the accusations are valid or something. If you get canceled for doing something. If oh, do you mini are lads back on YouTube, what are you talking yeah, yeah. about? Yeah, if you're objectively a piece of shit. All right, and people cancel you or something. I mean, look, it's really up to you, right? Many lad got canceled because he stopped fucking posting and he made a video. Oh, he's back on YouTube all. now, dude. Yeah, he's well, now back. he's back, but he gets a fraction of his views. My point is, when the accusations against Many Lad came out, all right, and uh, and and things were supposed to go poorly for him, he just kept uploading, and people were in his Discord server wondering what the fuck is he doing, and he's like, well, I'm just gonna keep mass uploading and get the views that I used dude. to, and just keep monetizing my shit, and nothing is gonna fucking happen to me as soon as he left the internet that's when he got canceled it yeah. was his own decision I, I don't know if anyone in the, ch in the chat knows this but uh, except for augie and xander hall but i did a video on uh the drama alert channel recently uh, a documentary basically on a guy named um oh, kiwis kiwis uh he was a streamer who solicited nudes from a minor and sent pictures to a minor uh twice uh once when he was 17 but then also once when he was 19 and it was the same girl um, he admitted to it all publicly. It all happened in an interview. He confronted the victim's mother. Um, he said that, like, she looked 14. It was really disgusting. Absolutely terrible. Uh, that guy went from about, like, a 100K YouTuber to a 2 million sub Fortnite YouTuber and is still successful to this day. So I don't know. I don't think cancel culture does anything if, you, if you're resilient enough. If yeah. you have yeah. big culture. balls, you're good. <laughs>